Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Mackenzie. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and stick around. Today I am kickstarting another week in my life and this week I am back on the road doing a little bit of travel. I'm with Sam and Jules this week. I woke up at five o'clock this morning and drove eight hours to Newport, Rhode Island. We are doing a little bit of a New England tour right now. Just a week. You talking <laughs> No? Yeah, hi, you the door closed like a little bit. Because I'm filming as well. <laughs> what was I even just saying? All right, we are in New England for the week. We are doing two days in Newport, Rhode Island, and then we are going over to Cape Cod. Hopefully, we're going to ferry over to Nantucket for a day. Martha's and then possibly Martha's Vineyard. <laughs> and then I have to drop Jules back off at her house in Boston. So we're going to be doing a little bit of everything over the next few days. It is currently Sunday and we'll be back home by next Sunday. So it's just going to be a week. Originally, we wanted this to be a little bit longer, but things just worked out that we're doing it all in one, one week time because I've got Cabo and Jamaica trips on the horizon that I got to get back home for. So I'm excited. It's been a few weeks since we've all been together. We just checked into our hotel. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a tour and then we're gonna get moving. It's like three o'clock, so let's get her done. Okay, we just checked into our room and this is literally a massive suite. We're staying at Newport Beach and Suites and it's beautiful. There are two separate bedrooms and we have this whole living area, TV, full kitchen. Like we're talking dishwasher, refrigerator burners obviously we're not gonna be cooking in here because we're only here for a couple days but it's so cute they also left us some sweet treats thank god I'm so hungry cute little notes we've got some wine some fresh flowers this is our view very New England esque and you can see the water right there and then this is literally a washer and dryer and if you walk through here we've got bedroom number two beautiful Wow Look at this bathroom, you guys. Literally insane. I miss hotel clubs so much, so I'm really happy to be back at it this week and getting back into the travel grind. I've got a beautiful bathtub, amazing views, lots of space to get ready. So cute. All right, Jules is getting us some robes. I got them, girl. Jules is getting us robes for our uh, little picture session. Which one should I try? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is a movie about Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> so do you guys want me to be a sumo wrestler? Because yeah. I will be if you want. <laughs> You won't want me in your content, like... Okay, we just shot some robe pictures all together. It's been a while since we've had our robe girl era. So we just did that all together, and now everybody is getting dressed. I think I'm going to wear this little romper from Revolve. We were supposed to have really crummy weather all week, like rain all week. And today, it's sunny, and it's like actually like hot out. So we're channeling, we're manifesting that energy for the rest of the week. And Jules, Jules is an unpacker. As you can see, this um, this suite had two different bedrooms. So Jules has her own bedroom. She's unpacking for her two-day stay. Super <laughs> cute dress from Red Dress. And then if you were curious about anything else, she brought here to all this. I'm an unpacker. Jules' um, wardrobe is very, like, New England-esque anyways. And mine, like, personal style isn't really that. But I really stocked up on the outfits for this trip mm -hmm. because I wanted to embrace it. Oh, I'm so glad you brought this hat. So many things I was, like, thinking about telling Jules to bring that she just brought... Um, which goes to show twin. that we've officially morphed into one, so. Literally, that twin, what is that called? Twin telepathy. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, here's my romper in full. My hair is, like, kind of hanging. I got it done the other day, and it is starting to need a wash, but it's fine. I just popped some dry shampoo in it and diced it a little bit. But here's the romper. It wraps around the back, so it's super cute. Then I've got on little chunkers from Dolce Vita, and then I'm going to go get a hat from my car, but... I think it's cute. Sam's 
Say hi to the new vlog camera, Jules. Hi, new vlog. Tell us what we're doing this afternoon. We're at the Bannister Wharf in Newport, Rhode Island. And we just went to a little cute event um, in a boutique here. And now, we're, after that, we're going to a collab, a restaurant collab. Uh, it's bar and board. Right. Yep, and we're just kind of shopping around right now. It's really cute over here. The last time we were here was so windy and like literally three degrees. So we're happy to be back in season. So Jules got us a dinner club and we show up and we realize that we've been here before for a drink. Last time we were here, it's called Bar and Board. It's super cute. You can do build your own charcuterie boards. They've got co good cocktail menu. So we're gonna have some yummy cocktails. We've got some meats, some cheeses and some little bread <laughs> some fancy entrees i got shrimp and grits jules got the fresh fish and rice and sam got scallops i'm excited because i know they'll let me have it this looks like the exact same thing but one with scallops one with yeah kind of fish similar. jules is pomegranate seeds thank you yum okay we finished dinner my shrimp and grits were great jules gave her fish a 10. sam said her scallops were really good we were gonna walk around. It's like 8.30 right now and it is like super glum outside. Uh, very cloudy, very chilly in this little romper right now. So we're not really sure. I woke up at five this morning, so I'm kind of tired, but we'll see where the night takes us to lay to bed soon. But it's been a great day. I love Newport so much. I just wish the weather was holding out for us a little bit longer. That's Jules is in the liquor store. This is kind of neat, she said. Dude, I have the funniest picture of Jules ever. <laughs> the one of her falling out the car? No, 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 no. Uh, the one of her asking the man at the liquor store to charge her phone. Can I see? Look at her feet. <laughs> <laughs> morning you guys it is monday morning in newport and it is extremely gloomy out today we are really hoping that these clouds break up and we get a little bit of sunshine although i'm not thinking that it's super likely but we had an awesome day here yesterday we got some unexpected sun which was nice and got to walk around uh, have a few drinks our dinner was great and we really liked that place we went to after where sam was dancing it was called The Landing, and the band there couldn't have been older than like a couple 19 and 20 year olds, and they were so good. They literally, it, the whole vibe of the place was giving like reception of a wedding. It was lots of fun. Um, really liked it there. We came home and crashed early since I woke up so early, but we are up and at ready to have a full day here. We don't have plans until later today. Um, we have a reservation at a winery, which I'm really excited about. So we think we're just gonna go out and explore. I'm still getting used to this new camera. I'm on an EOS M6 now, and it's a little bit bigger than the G7X. So I'm kind of getting the hang of like pulling it out in public and getting like small vlogs clips it's definitely a little bit of a learning curve for the travel vlogs so bear with me there but this is what i'm gonna wear today this top is from boohoo so is my skirt um i feel like i wear this white denim skirt on every single trip it's literally the best it's low rise super cute and then i've got on dolce vita sandals my sunglasses are from boohoo as well and then i've got my like little raffia clutch that i'm gonna wear today sam and jules are getting ready right now and i'm just gonna sit down and catch up on some instagram stories and then we're gonna see where the day takes us i'm really excited i'm hungry too so hopefully food is in the near future okay everybody we're it, back we're back <laughs> we're getting ready to head out of here for the day getting a little bit of a later start it's 11 o'clock but it's not only is dreary but it just started to rain so you know we're just kind of unreal yeah we're like we're gonna be outside all day so it's irrelevant but um jules is here sam's running up to get her camera we're just gonna see where the see where the day takes us. Starting with coffee, you guys know. Jules needs her coffee first. <laughs> it's really sad to be here in the rain. It is. It's just like one of those places that you just want to be outside the whole time you're here. Everything to do here is outside. It's okay. We're gonna make the most of it. Okay, we parked our car and are doing a little bit of shopping. Jules is gonna get a coffee, gonna try to find some breakfast. 
Guys, I want one of these sweaters so bad. The big American flag. And I feel like if I'm gonna get one, this is the place to get one, either Newport or just like on this trip in general. And the best news is that we're gonna be home for 4th of July, so you would actually get to wear it. This Are one's cute. Look, it's his beach. Oh. <laughs> Wait, maybe you're right, actually. Hold on. No, you're right. <laughs> This store is like salty. Salty babe, they have so many cute things. Like tons of fun tees, they've got lots of great swimwear brands, some fun sweatshirts, things like that. I love. We always come in vintage shops for Sam. And Jules was just getting ready to leave and she thought this was a prop. And I'm like, you have to get that, Jules. Guess how much? Anytime I've ever bought in vintage, it's um, on the East Coast. $35 for that. Crazy. And it zips, which is the best part. It's so hard to find a straw bag that zips. Oh my zips. god, I forgot, Sam. There's a bunch of really good uh, vintage stores in the cave. Yeah. Jules is taking us to a restaurant in this tennis court. It's so cute. It's gorgeous. So beautiful here, wow. So many people recommended that we stop by this. I didn't realize that there's a museum here as well. We're gonna end up eating um, breakfast, brunch, little lunch moment over here, but we're just exploring the grounds right now. Jewel said sometimes there are games playing. She's been here in the middle of the game, so we'll see. Okay, we decided not to eat at the tennis courts because the restaurant there didn't have any available seating outside right now. And we really want to be outside because the sun is actually trying to come out for us. It's so out. I'm really it's glad. Out. I'm really glad that we were able to see it though. It was really cute over there. So now we're walking down to the water to see what we can find. So we went back to the car to regroup for a second after our meal. Um, I just changed into a super cute dress from Revolve, seashell belt. This little bag is from Shirley. I bought it when we were in Charleston. We just wrapped up lunch. We sat and talked forever, as if we don't see each other every day, debating on where we should live next. Uh, we've come to no conclusions. <laughs> so if you guys have any uh, input, let us know down below. Anyways, um, we, one of my very sweet followers saw that I was in Newport and she does the socials, the PR for Visit Newport. So she was able to get us passes to be able to go on a boat. So that is what we are about to do. We're gonna do a little sail. I'm really excited. The weather like held out for us. So yeah, how cute is this dress? Okay, we lucked out you guys right along the water. There's a bunch of different cruises and we're getting on the Rum Runner. Very fitting if you know our Florida selves. And we're doing their afternoon cruise. So fun. We just went on our little boat cruise. What'd you think, Sam? I thought it was pretty cool. I liked how they told us some information about the places that we passed. There was a lot of cool things that we passed. A lot of Susan B. Anthony history here. Yeah, a lot of JFK. 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 <laughs> <laughs> a lot of JFK history. God. It was cool. Um, it kind of reminded me of this boat cruise that I did when I was in Amsterdam. It was like set up very similarly. I will only dock a point because they promised rum runners and there were no rum runners. <laughs> But other than that, we had a really good time. Um, it's very cloudy and dreary out, which was a little bit of a bummer, but it's okay because we weren't sweating, so there's that. And now we're really hoping that it clears up because we're off to the winery. Okay, we made it over to Newport Vineyard for a little wine tasting. Let's see what we've got. Okay, we're at Newport Vineyard right now. And we got wine flights each. I got the 
great white, the Vital Blanc, the great white rose, and then a white Merlot. And I had a sip of one already and it was really, really good. So I'm excited to try the rest. And then we got a little charcuterie board sent over to the table. I tried this one and it was really, really good. So I'm excited. It's really cute here. We've got a beautiful view. Unfortunately, it's a little glum out. But we're still making the most of our day. I'm gonna let you guys know what I think is best. All right, I'm gonna try all four. Oh, I, where did mine go? Great white. Okay. <laughs> Vital Blanc. Better than the Great White. Oh, really? Great White Rose. Better than the last two. White Merlot. The best. Mm. I think I like great white rosé over the Merlot. Mackenzie and I almost got identical twice. <laughs> okay, we got a little pizza pasta salad moment to share. We've got some seasonal veggies, some arugula with strawberries. I love strawberries. Um, it's good. Oh, it does look good. All right, guys, we're wrapping up our time here at the uh, little winery. We had a good day. We just met the sweetest older woman and they were asking all about our jobs and they were like, we missed the mark. Like, you guys are so lucky. Meeting people like that always makes me realize how lucky we are to do this. So anyways, we're Ubering home, calling it quits. It's Tuesday morning and we're getting ready to check out of here. We are headed over to Cape Cod a little bit later. We want to hit a couple other spots before we like leave Newport. It is pouring rain out this morning, but we're making the most of it. Um, today my dress is from Pepper Mayo actually. And then my shoes are Dolce Vita. I just have this hat on to bring to the car because it's raining, but I honestly might just end up staying in it because I know my hair will get crazy, but I Dysoned it this morning. And then I'm gonna carry this, but we've got lots and lots of bags to bring to the car. It seems like my trunk is, is never ending full here, but yeah. We have made it to the Breakers, which is a huge mansion here, and it's very historical. Uh, we're not exactly sure why yet, but we're here to learn. This is like the number one activity to be here on a rainy day, so we're gonna take you guys along. It should be fun. This reminds me of like the guided tour that Jules and I, or Lauren and I did in Barcelona. It like, it's like one of those that you put up to your ear and listen to. We're in the music room now. This is all real gold, isn't that crazy guys? The Breakers is the setting for the Russell's New York Ballroom and Daughter in HBO's Gilded Age series. I wonder if my mom has watched this. Okay everyone, we got a good little museum visit in and we just stuffed up the car. We're getting gas right now and we are headed over to the Cape. I'm very excited for this leg of this trip. Um, yeah, it's still a little rainy. Hopefully we have a good drive. My car is like actually like giving me an anxiety attack looking at it, but it should be a good one. Quick little, quick little hour and a half drive. Okay, we made it to the Cape, you guys. Easy breezy little hour and a half drive. And we went right to the food. We went to lunch at a little French spot um, before we check into our hotel. We've got all the goods. Open face steak sandwich. Uh, Jules got the catch of the day. This is halibut. It looks really good. And then Sam and I also got burrata to share. We're gonna do a little splitsies moment for lunch. This is small enough that we can get dessert, Sam. <laughs> I haven't even tried it yet, but it's just like the way that it cut. I'm like, good way. Jules' fish was the best fish I've ever had. It was really good, guys. It was halibut. It was really fresh. And the place that we're going for dinner tonight that we have reservations at has a lot of it. So now I know that I like it and I should get it. It's really white and flaky. The owner here is incredible. We're on a spot called Pain Divina. PDA is the abbreviation for it. And they are globally sold in Whole Foods, um, Trader Joe's, 
What was the other one? Shaw's or each other's. They're like East Coast grocery East Coast stores. grocery stores. And they have their pastries sold in all of these places. And they just brought us over. Not two, not four, not six, not eight, ten pastries, guys. Three, six, nine in here, technically nine. Nine. Isn't there nine in here? Oh, nine pastries. <laughs> And I'm so excited to have one. I like need a second. Our burrata was really good. Um, the steak sandwich, it wasn't really a sandwich. It was open face, like croak, like true French, but it was good. Interesting flavor. Definitely recommend the ketchup right now. It's really good. But the owner, he was just like the nicest guy. There's so many ties to Italy. I feel like now that I've been in Florence, it's like it always comes up somehow. And that's really cool. It's very special. So, anyways, come here. Let me down below. Okay, we just drove over to Chatham, which is where we are staying for the second leg of this trip. We are at a beautiful property called the Gray Finch Inn. So we just checked into, I kid you not, the cutest room ever. Super, super chic here. And they just opened last week here at Greyfinch Inn. Um, and I love a good inn. Jules is wearing off on me. <laughs> it's becoming one of those simple pleasures. Uh, we have to be the first people staying in here because it smells like fresh paint in here and like brand new hardwood. So we're really excited. Uh, we've got a little bit of sunshine trying to peek through and we're gonna head out and do a little bit of exploring, take some pictures. Um, I do have to post twice on Instagram for these people which will be literally a breeze because it's so cute here especially outside so yeah good vibes i'll leave the booking link down below in case you guys are interested. all right we've come out to the pool area guys this is literally the nicest hotel i really like staying at inns because they feel very homey like this feels like a backyard pool in the best way jules is out here sitting by all the fun pool floats she's got to take a cute little picture for a collab so we're gonna help her out and then Sam is also working on, she's working on something for a little wine collab. So we're just knocking some content out for the girls right now while we've got a little window of sunshine. Good morning, like my mama said, oh, what's she gonna do with your life? Oh, mama dear, you know you're still number one. Hey girls, I wanna have fun. I don't know, I need to sit sing. <laughs> One like and I'll push her in, guys. <laughs> okay, over here in the Sam Souter neck of the woods, we're uh, having a little cocktail. I promise I don't drink every day, guys, but we're just taking a sip for Sam's wine collab. She has a collab with Yellowtail, and ironically, this is actually one of my favorite bottles of wine. The Yellowtail Fresh Twist with the Tropical Pineapple, it's so good. It's really fruity and artificial. If you don't like sweet wine, um, I don't recommend, but if you drink barefoot, you'll probably like this. It's really, really, really good. Um, the alcohol percent is kind of low on it, I think. 7.5% alcohol, but 90 calories. It's good. I like it. Oh, and Sam's brand sent her these little Yetis. Okay, we're going to head out and explore for a little bit, you guys. Um, I'm going to stay in this little linen button-up that I've been wearing. This is from, I don't even know. This is so old. It's been in my closet forever. I've got on Express Jeans little white sandals and I'm gonna grab a straw bag it is so humid here like I thought that New England was gonna be like chilly and it's chilly but the humidity is literally 100% that my hair just 
it's it's gonna have to look like this. Okay, we are at a spot called the port tonight. Jules has been here before, and our waiter just informed us that this is one of the most popular spots for people our age to go out. It's like really chic dining, but then it turns into like fun bar scene in the evening. One of the rooms has live music, one of them has touch tunes, which we love a touch tune. We love touch tunes. So, anyways, I uh, just got a raspberry mojito no mint. I know that the point of mojitos is to have mint, but I don't really like mint in my drink but i love muddled fruit so this fresh raspberry it's really good <laughs> all right vlog we're doing an oyster um cheers. cheers cheers how do you do it like a shot wow slurp it down why don't you i got halibut tacos and a crab cake jules and i are gonna just have these see i'm gonna lobster roll i'm really excited for her none of us have ever had one boom I have. Sam and I have. Well, I have. I don't really just like that. Okay, I haven't. <laughs> so I'm excited for Sam to try it. The most special feeling in the world is being at this restaurant and our waiter telling us that one of the girls that works here is like freaking out in the back because she follows us and watches my stuff and knows that we're here. And so, Olivia. No, 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 not worse. Not worse. She means herself, but she doesn't want to say herself. But she met Mackenzie. Well, which is awesome. It's the coolest feeling to know that I've met so many people this year, and like it's so fun. And she's like, she's like freaking out back there to have met you. And I'm like, oh my god, tell her to come out. Want to go get a drink? Like, to put you know it what in I mean? To put it in perspective, like Mackenzie. There's been one person, at least everywhere we've gone, if not more, that's come up to Mackenzie and recognized her. And, like, it's just so cool to see, like, it's all such her a hard cool work feeling. pay off like that. Like, I love you. I love you, too. So, anyways. We're not always nice to each other, but I, I do, I am really proud of Mackenzie. Olivia, if you're watching this, it really meant a lot for you to say hi today. And you were my first cake follower. And we were just brought fried Oreos, and they're, like, covered in coconut. They're really good. Wow. Right, okay, guys. we're trying this, you can go. this port vodka lemonade. This is manufactured by the same people as Heinz, right? Yeah. yeah. Six percent alcohol. It's like vodka. And Saratoga Springs. All right. Yeah. Cheers, naked cowgirls. Cheers. <laughs> wow, it's very. Oh my smooth. god, it's like butter. Oh my gosh, that's really good. Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay, who loves that? Wait, wow. I'm actually highly impressed. This is an uncarbonated <laughs> alcohol. Is there Are you sugar in there? Have you ever heard the boils? restaurants that we're at right now? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I this love loyal. This is similar, so like yeah. a loyal, but it's not as sour. Yeah, yeah. Like it goes down a lot. Like it's so like, wait, were you guys all at this, this has no, no carbonation. No, no. You guys were like, all right, guys. We just had a four-hour dinner. We sat and talked with the waitresses for literally so long. We had such a good night. Super fun um, spot, and our food was amazing. Our fish tacos had halibut on them and they were really good and the crab cake was amazing so good vibes all around it's like 11 30 right now just showered we're gonna head to bed and we'll catch you guys in the morning maybe like three good morning guys it is wednesday and we are at uh the gray finch our hotel our little inn and we're getting ready to head out of here for the day we took some croissant pictures in bed this morning i'll put one here if it turned out cute and just kind of had a slower morning i picked some selects out from um seven swim my favorite swimmer brand ever black bow and from dip and daisies this morning so that i could stock up on some swimsuits before my trips to cabo and jamaica um next week so hopefully they come in time and anyways just got dressed for the day it's supposed to be another rainy windy cold day it's pretty chilly out right now so i'm wearing this little crochet sweater from lulu's it was the only long sleeve piece i have um and then my jeans are from calvin klein same little lulu's just like a little monochrome moment today um so yeah, we're gonna explore grab lunch just kind of Jules is gonna give us a little hometown visit type of we have made it over to Main Street which is like five minutes from our hotel and we are gonna be doing a lot of shopping they've got tons of like super expensive dresses lots of cute stores that have like uh, Cape Cod merch candy stores little cafes things like that this is like my favorite type of shopping and I've heard so much about this little area over on TikTok so I'm really excited to explore so How cute is the Chatham art in the park? 
All of these are painted differently. This one's my favorite with the lighthouse. Oh my gosh, I love this one too. The last thing that I need is another sweatshirt, but I really want one. How cute are all the Cape Cod to you? Realizing that Cape Cod is very dangerous territory because every store has its own little section of straw bags and hats. And you all know how that goes for me. Like I love all of these ones from this brand. I want this sweatshirt so bad, you guys. It reminds me of this one that my mom had. I used to only wear my mom's sweatshirts when I was in high school. And this one reminds me of something she would have saved years later. It's so cute. But I just don't need another one, especially since we got gifted sweatshirts last night. I want this trucker hat so bad, but it's $38. They're so expensive here. Once you settle in and move somewhere, Sam, you just need to find a boutique like this and do their vintage pop-up. Super, super, super cute in downtown Chatham. We hopped in literally every single store, which was lots of fun. And we just headed over to Ember Pizza, which is a place that Jules has actually been before. Owned by the same people as last night. We had such a good time, so we hopped in today. And I just got a blueberry mojito um, virgin, just because, why not? It's very, very fresh, super good. And we're just grabbing some lunch, some pizza. They just brought out some salad. We're attempting to get our greens in. Try it, because you know, blueberry. I got chicken shirt. pesto. Yes. We got blueberry prosciutto pizza as a gift. Sam's gonna try it first, it has goat cheese. I'm not a huge goat cheese girl, which was honestly the only reason why I didn't get it. it has prosciutto on it, it's good. Oh yeah, you guys gotta try it. Oh, I, just, like, know this is gonna be so good. I just ate seven slices of pizza thinking that, you know, whatever. And then they brought us this, Pazuki. I love Pazuki so much. That's what it's called? I've never even Pan heard Pan cookie. I've never heard of that. Oh my God. And why don't we cut it, you guys? It's a good cookie cake. Hey guys! All right, lunch was lunch was good. Lunch was good. All right, Naked Cowgirls just did a CVS run. I swear, everywhere we go, we go to CVS like randomly, and I never go to CVS unless I'm with this crew. So everybody, show what you got. I got press on because I broke two nails and okay. lotion. For how much money? This was originally what? Twenty four dollars. Twenty seven dollars for that shit. Twenty seven dollars for Cetaphil. Um, but Jules used all of her mom's things and she ended up getting it for like 20. Okay. Um, I got two lip liners. My favorite lip liner ever is the Essence 8 Hour Matte um, Gel Lip Liner. Um, they used to be $3, they're now $5, but they're still so good. I got two of them and I got Sam to get one. Sam, show them what you got. Alright, everyone. Okay. <laughs> everyone. So I got this Essence, everyone. This everyone Essence Lip Liner Influenced by Style by. She like just handed it to me and was like, you should get this, so I did. Because she's always buying expensive ass makeup that falls off her face and I'm like, do, yeah. how about you just try the cheap stuff that I use and see how it goes? Um, I got tampons. Right. <laughs> Painting liners. So you think that painting liners are weird? I don't think painting liners. No, are Jules weird. likes painting liners. I, I mean, think that at night because my period so light. Yeah, I have a super late period too. So like, not that you guys need to know that, but I think that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that it's good to I sleep with these. Were in this I think I it's can't. good to sleep with these because I don't like. Stop, sleeping with tampons. It look good, guys. I think that like sleeping with tampons is like a health concern. I still have dandruff, just so everyone knows. <laughs> like vlog. I've done everything. Bad. I've gone to the doctors. They gave me steroids. Oh, my bowl's not done. Everything. Sorry, can you open this? All right, guys. And then I got this um, <laughs> multi-pack of dental floss. I got a three-pack of... Can I have of... some? No. It's just $15. Oral-B Glide Floss. Um, I... No, just a strand, not like a full pack. Like, I just want to floss. Um, why didn't you buy your own? 43.7 yards times three. How many fuck... I have um, 130 yards of dental floss. Mackenzie might deserve one. Can't get um, it. But anyway, I how much do you guys think that this is? You need a refund. You just need a, a man. It's fifteen dollars. <laughs> I had no idea that floss was like five dollars a container. Well, but but in reality, now. like, how would it be any cheaper than that? Well, I didn't know that you was, couldn't buy a toothbrush I guess, for like, cheaper when than you five dollars. point seven yards. It sounds like a steal when it's only five dollars. But when you say a dental floss, Sam, pack, that is like a six month supply of floss. For some people, but guys, I'm like new on flossing. Like not she's new, new to not it. New. No, 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 no. I forgot to get postcards in Newport, but I got two in Cape Cod. 
If you guys didn't know, I have a big postcard collection. I just grabbed two. One for like a future office space that'll just hang on its own. And then one where I write about our trip and like what we did and who I was with and the highlights on the back of it. So I'm gonna use this one for that. And then this one's gonna be like the cutesy one. These are so cute. I love bringing Sam to the bookstore because she just picks up everything and is like, so what did you think about this? Well, what about I, this one? I'm with her a lot, so like, I feel like I recognize- I haven't read anything by this author. You read this one? I read Beach Read. Yeah, okay. It's good. It's not the greatest book. Uh, Love in Other Words, I really liked, but Jules didn't like at all. Really? What? Um, Love in Other Words. This is a different cover. Book Lovers. It's good. I really want to get. Um, I wish I had a cooler cover for this one. You read this one, I think. No, maybe not. Nope. Um, but I did read t uh, TJR, that one. This series, um, Mrs. Mannion just got for me. It's the Trouble in Paradise series by Ellen Hildebrandt. There's three books to it, and she just brought it back for me. So when I'm home, I'll get that. Guys, so cool. We are in this store where you can fill any of your jewelry pieces with sand from anywhere. They have little like jars of sand from everywhere. Let's find Florida Jewels. Where's St. Pete? I know. Here's Redondo Beach. Send this to Ryan Rock. Oh my gosh. France. Oh my god, Camber, California. Oh, Ocean City, Maryland, 128th Street. That's where I just were. That looks just like it. Okay, we are exploring one of the other towns. This is the one next to Chatham called Harwich. Harwich. We just start walking in and out of some stores. We're going to check out the beach. It's very, like, slow here, which I kind of like. And it's much more residential than I expected, which is cool. Okay, everyone, we came back to our hotel for a little bit to regroup, charge our phones, switch outfits. We are getting ready to head over to dinner, which is right over where we were shopping earlier today. I think I'm going to wear this top from White Fox. It's super cute. Love the floral. I've got on the same jeans, and then I just popped on a little pair of heels from Dolce Vita. My hair is just absolutely miserable in this humidity. So I just pulled it up into a ponytail. I literally got my hair done not even a week ago and it looks so brown when it's in this ponytail. But I swear it's just because it's like so like moist right now out. So Okay, we are at Wild Goose, which is our like little inn um partner restaurant. It's like five minutes down the road and we just got some dinner. I got crab cakes and lobster bisque today. <laughs> Sam got this pasta linguine with all kinds of scalps and mussels. It looks pretty good even though I'm not a big scallop girl. And Jules got this white flaky fish. How is it? It's supposed to have breading. They asked for no breading. That's why it looks a little different. But it's good. It's <laughs> good. Yum. Our dinner spot was nothing exceptional. It wasn't a bad meal, but yesterday's lunch spot and yesterday's dinner spot were definitely better. Um, but our waiter was so sweet. Oh my god, he was, he was so nice. Garrett, if you're watching this, we appreciate you. Anyways, we're obsessed with our sweatshirts. Literally all three of us are wandering around this room packing up Woo! in them. Dead. Tomorrow night, we or tomorrow morning, we are checking out of here and Tomorrow will be our last day in New England, and then Friday, Sam and I are driving home, driving back down. Um, but we decided to not go out tonight. Everyone just kind of is feeling tired and glum. <laughs> glum is the word of the trip. And so we're just gonna watch a movie, which we don't really do very often. I wanna watch Hannah Montana the movie, but... Okay, lights out, ladies. We decided that we're going to Martha's Vineyard tomorrow instead of Nantucket, so we've got an early start to our day. Miss Samantha Souter just hit 100K on TikTok. Woo! Everybody congratulate her down below. Big Thanks day for the guys. Naked Cowgirls. So um, crazy. Cheers to 100,000 more. Ooh, 100,000 for everybody. Good morning, you guys. It is 
Thursday morning and we are checking out of our spot. We are about to head out and over to Martha's Vineyard for the day. I would put this on the ledge, but I'm realizing that it's not a flat edge, so I'll just show you my outfit this way. Today, I'm wearing this amazing hydrangea dress. I've been saving this for weeks now. I got it when we were in Charleston from a small boutique called Bow and Row. They do have stuff online, so I will link it for you guys um, in the outfit guide for New England in case you guys are interested, but I'm super excited. I've got my hair slicked back just because uh, my my hair in this weather are just not friends. I've got on little Dolce Vita heels. These are the lace-up ones that I feel like I've been wearing a ton lately. They're such good shoes and then I just have a little straw bag. We've got the car all packed I just said to Jules. I am such a product of my dad. We've got Three suitcases perfectly tucked in here plus Jules big one here And then I've mastered the art of getting the Ikea bags in here. There's nothing Mackenzie can't do Besides change the tire. Okay, we have made it over to the next little town in the Cape. It took about an hour and 10 minutes to get here. I cannot believe how big it is here. But we just dropped our car off at the next hotel. Jules actually is staying here for three more days. Sam and I are only staying here tonight and then leaving tomorrow morning. But we're currently walking to the ferry to get us over to Martha's Vineyard for the day. This is like the town where you leave to go to Martha's Vineyard, which is like a 45 minute ferry, so. Enjoy the rest of your day, this stop is We were debating going to Nantucket or to Martha's Vineyard for the day, and we ultimately decided on Martha's Vineyard because it was cheaper, closer, easier, and just kind of made more sense. One of the biggest differences was the price of the ticket. It is only $20 round trip to get to Martha's Vineyard, but in order to go round trip to Nantucket, it was like almost a hundred dollars so we're really excited to have the day here we just docked and we are literally taking pictures right on the dock because it's so beautiful here all of those clips of all the boats is like literally right in front of us we finally have full sun it's like 80 degrees it's beautiful out the water is clear so we're just snapping some photos in this amazing dress if I get a good one I'll leave it here for you guys and I'm sure it'll already be up on Instagram but yeah, good day to be in Martha's, Martha's, I, I'm turning into Jules. Good day to be in Martha's video. I've been getting these blueberry lemonades like everywhere. They're so good. And I've just like been shocked that they're on every menu. The waitress here said that they're just really popular here. This is the best one I've had, it's so fresh. Last night's was like super sour mixy. This one's like, oh my God, it's so good. I just want to chug it. But I'm like, I can't because there's alcohol in it. Okay, we're at a restaurant called Fish in Martha's Vineyard, and this food is, looks so good. Cool. Sam and I both got shrimp tacos. We got a side of rice and beans, quesadillas. Jules has a reel going viral right now, so we're all excited. This looks like so much food, but I'm so excited. Our lunch was so good. We are shopping around Martha's Vineyard. The what is it called, Jules? Vineyard Vineyard Haven neighborhood. And it's super cute. We're in a little surf shop right now. And I just tried this Hydra Bloom bronze body glow. It's so cute. How cute is this store? We just Why the took the public bus over to <laughs> Edgar Town. It's very cute here, very How chic looking. Sam is just rattling off facts back there. <laughs> About, guys, did you know the president's usually- Ow! Sorry. It used to fall like <laughs> I swear to God. Give me one margarita. <laughs> guys, did you know Sam drank four margaritas at lunch, and you won't lunch. shut up. That's so not true. I literally haven't talked at all. <laughs> <laughs> I died and went to heaven in this store. It's called Soul. Little hidden gem. And look at over here. Everything's colorful. Look, look at this. This is the store. I'm obsessed. I've never gotten as many compliments as I have on this dress. Like everybody on the street is stopping me about this. I mean, it's very obviously New England, but we're in this store. I'm not sure the name of it, but everything is so cute. I keep picking everything up and being like, oh my God, love that, love that, love that. This is my favorite dress. $795, but 
Not this blue one, this. I just a, um... Isn't this so cute? I love the seashells on it. $795 though? I just got a dress like this from Revolve, but it's red. But it's like basically much blue. Revolve? I thought it was pink. I got it from my husband. Oh my god, look at the mermaid hat. Jewels. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. So we got the Atlas, the bus Atlas. Oh, let's see. Okay, I really liked Edgar Town much better than um, Haven, wherever we are. Vineyard Haven. But we came back over here for dinner. We're eating at a spot called the Attic. And Sam just got the biggest salad ever. Um, it has pomegranate seeds and walnuts on it. You try it. And we got crispy Brussels sprouts. I'm not usually a Brussels sprouts girl, but we got them one time. Crispy and like, well, almost like Thai chili like this. When we were at Coconut Charlie's in St. Pete, they were really good, so I want to try them. And we're just hanging out. Our ferry isn't until 9.30, it's like 7 right now. Jules liked Sam's salad so much that she got one for herself. Sam got French onion soup. I got this turkey burger with brie and this type of jam. It kind of reminded me of what I used to eat when I was in Florence, so I decided to give it a go. And it came with fries. It's really big, but... Wait, no, because that reminded me of the sandwich almost that I got in last year. Remember the one we were in line after we left the Soda Music Store? It was like three of that jam. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't a huge fan of the attic. Um... My turkey burger was nothing exceptional. The girls really liked their salad, but other than that, the salad was incredible. But yeah. other than that, it was eh. We are ferrying back to our hotel, which is in Woodsboro, and Woods Woods Hill, Woods Hill, Woods Hall, Woods Hall, Woods Hall. Vlog. Can I talk to the vlog for a second? What the heck? I haven't seen Jules in a while. Jules, everybody over there just slipped over here. And you know what? <laughs> like, We're the I one that care. has a rat tail. Rat tail. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom in I on Jules' duck face. I had a rat tail at one point, and I thank you for telling me. Anyways, vlog, you've been seeing me a lot of this trip. I've been hiding. <laughs> but I'm here to tell you that Mackenzie and Sam would be a little bit lost on the Cape without me. They did not know that the Cape was in New England. Well, if I had planned this trip, I would have had it in a dock, but when Jules plans it, we I just ask her. Yeah, that's fair. I don't care being asked, but it's funny because they just like, forget. I keep forgetting the name of where we're everything, going. Everything so tell us what we're doing right now, Jules. So we are on the ferry from, we were just in Vineyard Haven, which Martha's Vineyard is very, very large. De definitely different than in Tokyo. I would. Vlog, <laughs> <laughs> did I say something wrong? I None of those words came out. Definitely different than in Nantucket. <laughs> I would suggest. Jules, Jules, wait, I'm sorry. Start over so my No, no, here. we're not starting over. I would suggest. Jules is drunk. Hey, I'm drunk. <laughs> Jules is drunk, but she's telling us about Martha's Vineyard right now. Well, Go I'm all. telling the vlog that if I were you. And you are only here for a day or two or three in the Cape, and you only have one island to hit. It is easier to hit Nantucket because you can see it all one day. Okay, everyone, just uh, making their way down to the vehicle um, deck at this. Oh, cut! <laughs> <laughs> the hanger really pulls it together. It really does. This is all of Jewel's it's stuff. Really Finally scary. out of the back of my car. I'm a free woman. Yeah. <laughs> to put this into perspective, you saw my car this morning and this is it with just mine and okay, Sam's. Hey everybody! We just took a shower and together. <laughs> we just took showers and now we're getting ready to say goodbye. Sam's oh. laying down right now like Mr. Willy Wonka. Hi. And uh, she's wearing a romper. Guys, we're not gonna see romper. each other for so long. Like the Until longest Jewel's long. big thirty. Again. That's gonna be in six weeks. I am departing for a solo girl summer um, and I'm leaving the ladies, but uh, we had a good trip. We did. Overall, great. Vlog, I can't even believe how brunette I am. Alright, <laughs> we love you guys. Thank you for watching. Be love sure you. to hit the subscribe button so you see Jules get nasty and